Well, howdy, folks. What I want to attempt to show today is how to change a tire using my Harbor Freight tire changer uh, on our Kimco side by side. As you can see, this thing's got 1,103 miles on it. Well, the twin granddaughters love to ride this thing around when they come over. And as you can see by this tire here, there is no tread left on it. Of course, they mainly ride it on the road. And uh, so I got some new tires. These are the, the new ones here. Uh, they are uh, Moose Utility Division. So, yeah, they just say Moose on them. So, anyway, <clears throat> the original ones are 25 by 9 by 12. The new ones are 25 by 8 by 12. And I went with a little narrower front tire to see if this thing handles a little bit better on pavement. You know, and dirt and everything, grass, the other tires handle fine. But uh, on pavement, this thing is <laughs> extremely squirrely. So, anyway, for safety's sake, we're going to try a little bit uh, narrower tire. And here is the Harbor Freight tire changer. I got the top piece. I think that's for bike tires. I've never been able to successfully use it on a motorcycle tire. So, I gave up and did it the old-fashioned way and did it on a table. But this is the bottom piece and i will show you it does work because i attempted this first so i kind of had half of a clue as to what i was doing because it's the first time i have ever uh changed a tire like this i mean i've done it on bikes plenty of times but and i will show you uh where what i ended up doing where i was getting stuck at because i'm here by myself and i only got the one rod you see laying over there on the floor so I will show you what I ended up doing, and bear with me, like I said, <laughs> this is the second tire I've done, so I am not a pro by any stretch, but let me get my tripod set up here, and hopefully not in the way, because you need a bit of room to swing that pipe around, so let me get you over here, get you set up, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, actually, I'll go back over there to that tire's right on the other side of that thing. i got to take the valve stem out uh, real quick and so we can break the bead on it. So, if you don't have one, this is just a regular little valve stem tool. You stick it down there, turn it, so your valve stem comes out. Here is the center of the uh, center cap rubber that they get off. Okay. All you're going to do is set it down in here, get it in position, and the piece that goes in the center here, where did I put it at? Right here. Let me see if I can see what I'm doing. Right. The, that you can stick on the end of here and then you take your little pry bar and you kind of put it in like so, kind of hold your wire and then pull down and you'll, that broke easy enough. Okay, so now, and what I found out is you got to break the bead on both sides. I found that out the hard way. And I think Harbor Freight has these on clearance now for like 35 bucks because I was missing a piece. I was missing this piece. I had it buried in the back garage, but I knew I was missing something. I just didn't know what. So these things can be kind of tough, but it's broke. Okay. So. That there, get this 
way there. Set this up here. Okay. And this goes down in here. There is, and I'll show you here in a sec, there is a rod that comes up. It goes through. I'm guessing you can see it right there. Nope. See that red pin? That goes through uh, one of your lug nut holes. All right, then you take this little thing right here. You just set it right down in there. And then you screw this down on top of it. And then you just want to snug it up. It keeps your wheel from, the rim from spinning. Okay, now I'm going to lube this wheel up. Uh, this is called um, RU Glide. Uh, works great on the bike tires. I know a lot of people just use soapy water, which soapy water works fine too. But I've been using this stuff for a few years now. And I like the results. Getting the wheel off is fairly straightforward. So you want to push this down and get this up under here, like so. And then you just want to kind of take your thing and spin it around this pole here. There's one side. Now, a lot of times you can take and peel this tire off. Sometimes. I know the other one came off fairly easy. Of course, I had it on the ground when I was doing that. There's one tire. Off. Okay, now. Uh, these things are not directional, so I just want to make sure that I got the same size, same side out on each tire, which, okay, that's the bottom. Okay, so let's take some of this. Uh, we'll try to see if we can get it on without having to use the tool on the bottom part of it. So I just spread this around a little bit. Tired or warm, which I have misplaced my heat. Pad. So, Let's see if I can. See if I can use. Uh, push it down. I think I was standing on it before. Uh, of course, I could try. Tire spin. See if that'll give me enough whip. There we go. All right, so these are tire spins. 
these uh, come in really handy with the bikes. So, all right. Now here is where I had the biggest, hardest time with this other tire. I'm gonna loop this up really good and splatter it everywhere. I'm making a holy hell mess. What I found was the kept the tire kept the actual tire, not the rim, was liking to spin when I was trying to force it around. It kept doing it in the same spot. So what I did, and I'll show you, is kind of where did I put my thing at? Oh, there it is. Blends in with the uh, Kimco. All right, so I'm gonna get this down here. start to spin so it helps to put your knee on it. See if it'll do it this time. No, it's gonna pop right off there. Really under one or two. Yeah, that popped off. All right, I'll try it. The first time around, this time, see if I can get it to stay on. I'll move this side around now, so it's kind of stretch that side, and see if that does the trick. And there may be an easier way to do this. Kind of Google it, but. Stuff out of the way. Keep my knee down on it. See, so you can hear it stretching it, but it gets really, really tight. Okay, so let's try moving it. Yeah, let me bite. Anybody out there watching this knows of an easier way to do this, oh, please let me know. I mean, it's not that hard. It's just keeping this thing down in there while you're trying to do this. Because it likes to, it likes to curl back around. See if I can just keep it there which gets hard to do. Come on, stay on here. Don't do it. On. Woo. It's not a time. You want the heat on in your garage. It says a 63 in here. Damn. Okay, so we've got the tire on. Okay, so now what we want to do is put our core back in. Oh, and I forgot to mention, when you do this <clears throat> and you take this thing off here, when you're using this, you got your little valve stem right here. Okay, this thing's tiny. Make sure that, because it's going to sit in here, Kind of like that. Make sure you hold on to this when you're letting the air out of the tire. Otherwise, unless you've got replacements, this thing's gonna go flying, which you don't want. All right, so put this back in here. I've seen somebody doing it with two spoons, two of these red rods, which I may get another one at Harbor Freight, um, and they did them. They did them counter of each other, which would work really good because then you're getting even even load on on both sides. So, but I don't have that, 
So, I am making do with what I got. And, as you can see, it did work. Okay, so now, all I'm going to do is put some air in the tire until the bead pops. And you should hear a pop on both sides. Sometimes you gotta position this thing a little bit. So, start getting air in it. I know they make these speed filler things. Front tire filled up just fine. The other tire, I should say. Sometimes you can squeeze on it, hard near it, presser. There we go, it's taking air. This side here is going to pop here in a sec. There you go. You heard the two pops. Now, Take this off. Build the other one to 25 pounds. I seriously need a new air compressor. Okay, so right now we got about 12 pounds in it. This is the Azuno. just like a regular tire changer uh, and he made a, a welded I took a piece of pipe set it over top of this and welded a bracket on the end of it and he did his by himself and it worked pretty easy but as you can see you know, this wasn't extremely difficult so I mean if you got two people it definitely helps uh, to have somebody stand you know put their you know do it you know on here have somebody stand on one side that way you can get the leverage you need, or like I said, just go get another set of spoons. But here we go, guys. Another tire. So, good to go. And I'll show you the difference. I'll stand them up next to each other, and you guys can see what I was talking about in the tires. Okay, so this is the... 25 by 9, and this one here is the 25 by 8. So I'm guessing you're seeing that. Yep, there you go. So it's basically, uh, I'm guessing, what, about an inch wider. This one here is about an inch wider. So this, I'm hoping, like I said, will help with driving on pavement. So we'll, we'll see, Ted. We'll see. So anyway, that will kind of wrap this up. Uh, appreciate you watching and hopefully you got something out of it but like I said this thing here is on sale on clearance right now for 35 bucks now what I did do you can what a lot of people do let me move this tire out of the way and I'll show you um, 
a lot of people don't mount it on a pallet okay because this thing is wobbly and what I did is I took and got some uh, redhead uh, anchors uh, 3 8 inch and drilled down about uh, an inch and 5 8 drop those in you got to get the little setting tool popped it and then I just screwed it into the floor so this thing ain't going nowhere but I see a lot of people setting them on uh, uh, pallets which I mean a you know four foot pallet would probably give it enough you know keep it from flopping all over the place but still um, I want this to be portable and so that's what I did so now when I'm done which I'm done I will go ahead and actually I may leave it there because I need to get some tires for my trailer now that I know how to do a tire I ain't so uh, afraid to tackle that instead of buying a tire and a ring combo because that's like 250 bucks I can get the tires a lot cheaper but anyway I don't want to ramble too much <clears throat> just kind of wanted to show you how this thing worked uh, so hopefully you get something out of this and uh, if you did please give me a like and uh, I'll have something out here again before long take it easy Thanks for watching. Here do. Come on. Come on. Get, go, go, get. Come on. We're gonna test out these tires, doo doo. Well, hold on a minute. I gotta get these other guys in here. They're gonna have a fit. Come on. Okay, hold your hold your fur on. Come here, Bean. Come over here, buddy. Okay. Check out these new tires, guys.
right guys, we're home. Did you guys have fun? Huh? All right. You need some help out of here, Bean? Ooh. There you go, rocket dog. Come on, doo-doo. Hey guys, uh, I'm adding on to this. I forgot to mention I, when I was looking at this, I kinda noticed that uh, I didn't show you how to use the bead breaker. It's actually pretty simple. So, this tire, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deflate it. Let me get my fat finger out of the way there. But, all you do is you set your tire in here like that. You put that right up to the edge of the rim and the uh, tire. Then you take your handy dandy little extension here and it slides right over top of this and then you take your big breaker rod you put it down the slot here like so and then all you do is pull towards you you know and you you know got to use quite a bit of force but that should pop your bead and hopefully it pops it all the way around or just step on the back side of the tire here once you break it forward and flip it over and do the same thing again to the other side and break that bead. Pretty straightforward. I should have turned the camera down, didn't pay no attention to it, but uh, sorry. So I added this to the end. It is super simple to do and it works great on motorcycle tires too. So if you ever have a problem with, Ouch. with uh, breaking the bead. So there you go. Thanks for watching.